Okay, baby belt 10. What's changed? More like what hasn't. Um, the ramp is the same. These are now longer, just like 9.6, um, so that the roller can be slightly shorter so there's more tolerance and leeway. Um, this gear has been trimmed down to prevent binding. The sides have been slightly modified to allow screws for belt tensioning. This belt tensioning block also serves as an underbed support piece so that the bed doesn't flop around as much. Additionally, we're going to get a filament runout sensor in this extruder body, but that's optional. Um, also, this bearing block here now uses 608 bearing that the belt rides on instead of using uh, 20 tooth more expensive pulleys. So that because the bearing is bigger and there's more teeth in it, the, uh, there has to be a bigger notch cut out the side for the belt to go through. So that also means that since this has changed, this has changed, this has been updated with better belt routing, this has been updated, and this guy here has been updated. Now, when we went ahead and went with the 608 idlers, we also put bigger 3D printed plastic gears in, uh, instead of the 20 toothed ones are now uh, 34 toothed, and that's so that we can wing the printer faster because we're reaching the maximum rotation speed of the printer before it would lose steps. Um, all this is made for better print speed, better print quality, and of course, better, easier ease of assembly. Um, so I know that some of these things have been asked for for a while, such as the screw adjustable um, rollers, but the underbed support was asked for at Murph, and then that needed to be done a long time ago, and the better pulleys. So that that's, uh, that's it right there. Oh, also, we added a print button. So you no longer need a computer. You can just load an SD card in, push the print button, and away you go.